Okay, everybody, I thought I'd cover something I discovered uh, pretty quickly, and I want to show you something. So, I just upgraded my AnyCubic Viper to 2.3.9, uh, and I have a whole video on how you do that. Uh, if you remember, you need a full-size SD card to do the Viper update, or I think you can push it uh, from from Cura potentially. Uh, I used the, um, the SD card for mine. Uh, make sure the .bin file is right at the root and then you need a micro SD card where you copy the uh, DWIN folder onto that to upgrade the screen. Uh, and so I just did that uh, and I wanted to do a, a bed level. Okay, so it's always a good idea after you upgrade your firmware just to re-level the bed. Now, when I did that, I went to print a calibration cube and I got this, which is not very cube-like. Uh, this was just the start. Obviously, when I saw this mess happening, I um, stopped the print rather than let it, you know, just build spaghetti. Um, so, why? Why did this happen? I figured out why right uh, before I leveled the build plate what I had done was load some new filament uh, and so the nozzle was at 230 degrees which is where the Viper puts the nozzle heat uh, to load and un unload filament and uh, right after I, I loaded that uh, filament I was like cool my filaments in boom I hit auto bed level. Now, when I did that, uh, the result was uh, that the, the nozzle cools down to 170 degrees. That's the temperature that the nozzle, um, that the printer sets the nozzle at to do bed leveling. When it went through the level procedure, what I, the result was I had a dot at every spot of uh, the touch points on the bed, I had a little dot of filament. And because of that, uh, what, what I believe was happening is the nozzle was still sort of too hot or still cooling down. It still had some of the um, um, residual filament on the nozzle and even though I, I use these to try to clean it up, in spite of that effort, it was, it was, um, some filament was interfering with the bed leveling process. When I tried doing this, I tried printing the calibration cube, I could see that the nozzle distance was not close enough to the, um, to the build plate. It sort of started printing spaghetti. I bailed. I was like, what's going on here? So, this is uh, a potentially what just happened. Uh, if you notice that you're getting little dots, uh, so the next time I did it, here's what I recommend. I recommend if you're going to auto level, I would auto level from a cold machine, right? Just fire up the machine, hit auto level. It will bring the temperature up to 170 degrees. Um, you may have a little bit of... Um, a little bit of material I would try to make sure the nozzle is clean uh, when when it um, as it's warming up try to give it a little you know just check make sure there's no big gobs of anything at the end of the nozzle and that should make sure you get a nice even consistent uh, layout when it's doing its leveling so I made sure that I did exactly that I made sure the nozzle was clean I made sure it was cool enough I auto leveled again uh, printed the calibration cube as you can see it came out fine and I've been printing printing ever since so uh, th those are two pretty dramatic results for uh, for being the same model but uh, very very minor difference it's and it wasn't like um, I had just done something else in between I really just I loaded the had loaded filament and because the nozzle I think was still as hot as it was even though it supposedly cooled down to 170 degrees it was still leaving those marks I believe that was interfering with the height and giving me this 
So, anyway, hope that helps somebody because I was I was like, whoa, that does not look level at all. Uh, and this definitely came out pretty nice. All right. Hope that's helpful. Thanks.